Got him. I got two. I got two on one freaking hook. What a tank. What's going on guys, Bastin' Up Moppa here coming at you with a new video and in this week's video we got something special for you. I had one of the coolest firsts ever in this video. First time I've ever had this happen. I've been dying to have this happen ever since I started bass fishing and seen it happen in a couple of shows and stuff. Been dying to have this happen. Finally had it happen when we were out on this little pond hopping adventure this day. Found a new pond that I wanted to try when I was down in Maryland, so we tried that, and we also hit a few other ponds. So, stay tuned. Here we go, y'all. Tying on this bluegill wake bait again. See if we can get a big girl off of that. Right off the bat again. That sure would be nice. Yeah, let's see if we can go two days in a row. We're getting in on the first cast or two. <laughs> So like I said, to start, I am throwing the Black Dog Bait Shell Cracker Bluegill style wake bait. Uh -huh. I'm throwing that 160 pound braid. And the retrieve style that I'm doing with this bait is I'm just slowly bringing it across the top at a nice steady pace. You wanna keep a nice steady pace. These bass will track these wake baits a good ways across the top sometimes so keep I it just chugging along ever so that's slightly sure. and that's typically all you need to do to get a bite on the wake bait didn't get really any bites on this side of the docker pier whatever you want to call it so i switch around to the other side real quick and start casting over there Yep, get the camera. This is a pretty big one. Don't hook me. See the pliers? Yep, we got it. Now stay back here. We got a nice fatty. Off the bush. Bluegill again. Again. What a tank. Probably a nice three and a half pounder. So after that fish, continue fishing the wake bait around the pond a good bit and also pick up another lure here and there as well. Don't really show it in the video, but we fished around for quite a while. My girlfriend was even fishing for a while too and we didn't get any more bites, unfortunately. Yeah, 
Real quick, time to talk about these awesome shirts from our sponsor, Badium. These nice new performance fishing shirts that they came out with, these button-ups are absolutely amazing. They're made out of 100% recycled polyester, plastic bottles, and they're very nice, very breathable. Also helping the environment out a little bit with doing it out of all the recycled plastic bottles. And they have the nice quiet snap buttons, so they come undone nice and easy, just like that. Not trying to show you all my chest hair or anything, but they do come open nice and easy. And they're very nice and breathable and stylish, come in multiple colors, so you can check them out. If you wanna check them out and get yourself one, use the link in the description and use my discount code MOFFET20 for 20% off of your purchase. But now let's get back into the video. So now we start fishing at the second pond after not really getting any more bites at the first. And I start out with the black dog bait shell cracker, wake bait again, and just start throwing that around doing a nice steady retrieve. That wasn't seeming to get any bites, so I decided to downsize. And with this being a lot smaller pond, a lot of the fish in it are a lot smaller. There's not very, very many big ones. So I decided to downsize, trying to match the size of the bait and forage that's in the pond and start throwing the BFS bait finesse size jackal pompadour. Maybe this tiny pompadour will get a bite. You get one. Oh. oh god, I made that one bleed too. Yeah. There's more of them in the side pocket there. Okay. One who was wiggling around. Oh, here it is. Yeah. Thank you. Is it fine? Oh, it's cracked. Move it down here further. Oh, dang it. I heard that. <laughs> Didn't see it, but I heard it. He went to grab it right there. Right on and fold it out. Little guy. Oh. <laughs> Little dude did it again right there. Got him. <laughs> He's like, I want that. That's about the same size as mine. Feisty little guy. Uh-huh. That's the ones that get you hooked. Oh, he's got all three points. Do you want your fire? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Just dangle him until we get the pliers so we don't get hooked. There you go. Can you hold anything? No. Okay. There we go. Little bass. Off the pompadour. That seems to be the motivation you need. As soon as I, <laughs> since I catch the first one, then you're like, oh yeah, girl. Okay. 
And this thing does not work right if it gets any bit of grass on it. So now I wasn't really seeming to get any more bites or blow ups on the top water so I decided to switch up again and put on a little Lucky Craft Skeet Reese RC crankbait, little bluegill imitation color and caught a lot of fish in this pond before on it so I picked that up. Again representing bluegill because we are fishing in ponds and that is typically your main forage bait fish in ponds. I start working my way around the pond with the crankbait, hitting all the edges. A lot of the times in ponds, fish will stack up around the edges, waiting to ambush fish. There you go, little guy. I got two. I got two on one freaking hook. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I just got a double up. <laughs> Come here quick. I got the other camera in my pocket. Okay, I'm coming. That is the most wild thing ever. Guys, I literally just caught two in one cast. What? in the heck that's the first time i've ever done that there we go guys look at that i just caught two in one cast on this little lucky crap crankbait <laughs> i guess they really like it in this pond <laughs> man that's the first time i've ever done that two in one cast they're just dinks but that's <laughs> awesome pretty insane there goes one And there goes two. That's wild. That is so funny. I was over there, I was like, oh, okay, we're tied now. And then all of a sudden I'm like, are you serious? And then I look up and you got two. I'm like, what? You <laughs> <laughs> just had to be like, nah, baby, you're going to be tied to bed. I'm spanking you now. What'd you say? I'm spanking you now. Yeah, you are. Hey, stay right there and throw over towards that white pipe in the water. Oh, not the glass. No, start, throw in the water. <laughs> just throw out in the water. Oh, one just wrecked it. I missed it. I was trying to tell you what to do. Yeah, it's all your fault. There's another. <laughs> Is that number five? Kick my butt today. How's that any different than normal? 
Oh well. And number six. No, stay over this way. You scare them though, they're all in the bank right over there. I said you'll scare them though, they're all sitting on the bank right over there. Look, there's seven. <laughs> no, that would have been funny. There we go, another little guy. Number eight. Number eight? Yeah. I guess I have a lot of work to do. I'd say. <laughs> a lot of catching up to do. Well guys, here we are at the portion of the video where I break it down a little bit. So as you saw, the big fish of the day came off of the black dog bait shell cracker. I was really trying to get fish to bite that everywhere we went. Ponds, typically bluegills is their main forage bait fish that all the bass are feeding on. So figured that would be one of the perfect ones to start with. And it has a great action coming across the water looking like a dying bluegill. So that's why that's one of my favorite topwater baits and is becoming one of my absolute favorite topwater baits. Caught a lot of big fish off of it this year. So started with that. Cracked that nice one, but couldn't get any others to come up for it. And then I downsized when we went to the other pond and started throwing that smaller Lucky Craft Skeet Reese crankbait in a bluegill color as well. Because like I said, in ponds, bluegills mainly are your primary forage or bait fish. Typically, most ponds don't have shad or other bait fish unless somebody stocked them in. But most of the time, bluegill and other bass. But that's what it took to take to get these fish. In the ponds, a lot of times I'm targeting the edges of the bank and of course that bigger fish kind of bit out off to the side of that bigger dock. And like you saw, we had a double catch. 
That was insane. I've been dying to have that happen ever since I started bass fishing. Seen people do it on jerk baits a bunch of different times. A Bama rig, of course, Bama rig with five hooks on it. Most states let you use five hooks and it's semi easy to catch multiple fish on that or a little bit easier. But two fish on that tiny little crankbait. Just dinks, but that was pretty awesome. Glad I finally had that happen. So that was pretty cool. But if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you can get notified for the next video and as well if you uh, want to check out any of these baits or the shirt uh, like I said earlier I will link this all down in the description so you guys can check any of them out and get them if you'd like but we will see y'all next Thursday guys make sure you get entered into my giveaway as soon as we hit 2,500 subscribers we're going to be doing that giveaway so you got to be subscribed to the channel you got to like this video you got to comment for an extra entry and you can also share it on your social media pages and tag me in it and you'll get another entry as well but we'll do that giveaway as soon as we hit 2,500 subscribers and we will see y'all next Thursday guys tight lines Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being negative when you should be getting after it